Have mercy on me, sir, allow me to impose on you. I have no place to stay, my bones are cold right through. I will tell you a story of a man and his family, and I swear that it is true. Ten years ago, I met a girl named Joy. She was a sweet and happy thing. Her eyes were bright blue jewels, and we were married in the spring. I had no idea what happiness a little love could bring, or what life had in store. But all things move towards the end. All things move towards the end, and that you can be sure. To follow, she grew so sad and lonely. Became joy in name only. Within her breast, there launched an unnamed sorrow, and a dark and grim force set sail. Farewell, happy fields where joy forever dwells. Hail, horrors, hail! Was it an act of contrition or some awful premonition? As if she saw into the heart of her final blood so tonight. Those lunatic eyes, that hungry kitchen knife. I see, sir, that I have your attention. Well, could it be? How often have I asked that question? Well, then. Quick succession, we had babies one, two, and three. We called them the Hilda, Hattie, and the Holly. They were their mother's children. Their eyes were bright blue jewels, and they were quiet as a mouse. There was no laughter in the house. No, not from the Hilda, Hattie, or Holly. No wonder people said, "Poor Mother Joy, so melancholy." Well, one night there came a visitor to our little home. I was visiting a sick friend. I was a doctor then. Join the girls were on their own. Tape in her mouth again. She been stabbed repeatedly and stopped her to a sleeping bag. In their very hearts, my girls were robbed of their lives. The method of murder, much the same as my wife. 